Hi friends and welcome to Ouroboros Tarot. Today's pick a card reading is looking into how they see you as well as your connection. And I have three piles for you guys to choose from today. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to. Take as much time as you need to find the pile that sits right with your energy as well as with your persons. And I will see you in a minute. Hi pile one and welcome to your reading. Today's pick a card reading is looking into how it is that the person on your mind is seeing you as well as your connection. And the card that you have chosen is the scarab and this is going to represent how your person is seeing you. Um, I have more oracles as well. And for those we have the koala with the keyword being calm and we have sky. So these three cards here represent how your person is seeing you. When it comes to how they're seeing the connection, pile one, we have number 63, after completion. We have number 39, the protector. The affirmation is, I respect people's boundaries and require the same from them. And we have the ring. Okay. So, pile one, this is, this is, a very clear message that's coming through that this connection is one that is either in no contact or was in no contact up until recently. Um, there could have been a falling out of some kind or boundaries could have been crossed in some sort of way that caused this connection to dissipate. Um, however, it feels like it's not a permanent thing and that's how your person is seeing this connection currently. Um, they're seeing it as one that's eternal, as one where where perhaps now in the present moment, the two of you cannot be together for whatever reason. However, they still feel absolutely connected to you and they feel as though this connection will come back full circle when the time is right. Um, they don't feel as though this connection has closed entirely. Um, it's just that a chapter has, has ended for it and there's more chapters to go. Um, with the scarab here, this card is all about second chances and this is how they're seeing you. So either you or this person, depending on what happened, is offering the other person a second chance or they feel as though in the future you are either going to be offered a second chance or are going to offer a second chance. Um, they seem to think of you as somebody who's pretty level-headed, like especially if there are rumors going on around this connection or if there are outside influences that have had some sort of say or had some sort of hand in what has transpired here. They feel as though you are level-headed and grounded enough to not allow those things to control you or manipulate you or lead you down a path that is not meant for you. Um, they really trust your judgment and your insight. There's, there's this understanding that you have a very open-minded attitude and approach towards life. Um, and that by no means is, it's not the same as them thinking that they can pull one over on you. Like that's not the energy that I'm getting. It's more like they see you as somebody who is open to what life brings um, and what others are bringing to the table. You're open to that. You're not rigid. You're not turning your back on something sim without, without considering it. Um, but at the same time, you're not going to be walked over. There's, there's a lot of self-respect here that this person is seeing within you. Um, and I also get the feeling that if this is a no contact situation, they're under the impression that you are doing just fine. Um, that you are at peace. And one thing that kind of comes to mind with all of these cards here is that your person is understanding or is believing that you're understanding that just because we want something really badly doesn't mean that it's in our best interest. Um, or just because we want something very badly doesn't mean that it's healthy for us. Um, and from what I'm seeing here, they feel as though in the future, if they, if they keep a more future-minded 
approach to this rather than one that is um, like an immediate gratification, they're going to see better results. There's recognition here that if they were to rush things or allow you to come back in when perhaps it's not time, would do more harm in the long run for the long-term goal that they have for this connection than it would do good. Yeah, so if that has resonated for you, pile one, let's go ahead and pull tarot and see what comes through for how this person is feeling about you and the connection. How do they feel currently? How does pile one's person feel about pile one? What are their current feelings? Okay, so we have the two of cups and the three of cups. What are their current feelings, spirit? How does pile one's person currently feel? We have the six of cups. What does pile one's person currently feel about pile one? Okay, and then we have the devil. So, I mean, this, this is really interesting for the Three of Cups to come out and the devil. It feels like there may have been a third party of some kind or there was a betrayal of some kind. Um, and what they're feeling is... A hope that this can be recovered, a hope that this can be repaired. There's there's a lot of emotional energy here. We have three cup cards, which also kind of goes back to the three of cups. It just feels like there's, for the time being, pile one, this person cares for you a great deal, but they also feel as though you, either you or them, are not truly ready for a connection that has the possibility to be as profound as this one could be. Which does not negate the fact that there's still there's a lot of care and love here and a desire for reunion, a desire for um, reconciliation. Let's keep going. Why is the Two of Cups here? Please clarify the Two of Cups. We have the seven of cups. It's 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 the same energy that I've I've already spoken of, of them not feeling ready yet, of them understanding that the feelings run deep here for them toward you, but at the same time not necessarily knowing if this is the right decision or knowing that it may, they, I feel like they know that this may not be the right decision to come forward currently. Um, or to try to bring this connection all the way back to how it was prior to whatever it was that transpired between the two of you. But it doesn't make it an easy thing to actually choose. Even though they understand this or feel this deeply, it doesn't make the feelings of desire, um, of wanting a certain outcome, to go away. Please clarify the Three of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please clarify the five, the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please clarify. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and why is the Devil here? We have the Three of Wands. 
then the three of pentacles. So we have three cards with the number three in them. So we have three, yep, th three cards, the three of cups, the three of wands, and the three of pentacles. Again, there's this like third party energy. There's an out, there's an influencing energy here that does not come from within this connection. And they feel at odds with themselves. And I think it will, it, it's going to, it's going to be different for, for everybody depending on which side of this falling out you're on. Um, if this was a falling out in which this person feels as though they were betrayed by you, what I'm kind of getting is that this person feels incredibly defensive and concerned about this potentially happening again. Like there's there's not enough trust here yet. And if it's the other way around where you are the one who feels as though this person is responsible for this falling out or for this betrayal, it feels like this person has not fully accepted I don't want to say they haven't accepted ownership. It feels like there's there's an understanding of what has happened of the 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 repercussions. Like there's there's an understanding here. But it's almost like they feel as though they can't help how they feel or they can't help themselves. They're they're not ready to Like, they're not ready to per potentially take this connection to the next level. But they, but I mean, like with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Six of Cups, this is further confirmation that this person is thinking more so in a long-term future sense when it comes to the decisions that they're making. Um, and they want to do right for this connection and jumping into something and their, from their perspective, is not going to benefit this connection in the long run. But there is a desire to work together to perhaps make peace for the time being. Hmm. I think that this person uh, feels as though they have a lot more growing to do. Yeah. So I've already pulled you guys advice, pile one. Um, and for the advice card today, we have the Luna Moth. The keyword is radiate and the question being asked is how am I the light in the darkness? And the key takeaway for me um, obviously, if this has meaning for you, listen to that first. But the key takeaway for me, Pile One, is that it's really important to measure what it is that you encounter um, by your own light, by how much that encounter offers you an opportunity to radiate versus measuring it based on the light that that person or thing emanates. Um, this is a card really calling you back to yourself, um, really calling for reflection within yourself, um, reflection in the sense of asking, I think most specifically, asking if this person is somebody who allows this light to shine within you or if this is somebody who dims it. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys today, pile one. 
Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Please know that I'm always wishing you guys nothing but the best. Um, and, and hopefully I will have the chance to read for you in another video soon. Bye, Pile 1. Hi, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. Today, we are going to be looking into how they see you and your connection. And the card that you guys have chosen is the Tree of Life card. And this is going to represent how this person is currently seeing you. We have more oracles here. Um, we also have the whale with the keyword being emote. When it comes to how your person is seeing this connection, pile two, we have the orphan. Number 45, the intuitive. The affirmation is, I am tuned into the energy of those I care about. And we have number 52, keeping still. Okay. Pile two. Um, from what I'm sensing, it feels like this person, perhaps in the past, has not had the opportunity when connecting with others to step outside of survival mode. Um, this person may be somebody who has been harmed um, in, throughout various connections um, and, and very different connections. This could be romantic, friends, familial. Um, it feels like there's a wound here um, within this person that's showing up very strongly. Um, and they see this connection as one that is healing. They see the connection that the two of you share as one in which this person is allowed to take a breath. This person is allowed to rest their feet. They're allowed to not constantly have to look over their shoulder or wait for the next ball to drop or wait for the moment in which everything falls apart. There's an element here of them realizing that this is a connection that is incredibly stable, incredibly safe, um, and also it's an equal connection. It's not a connection in which one is giving and one is taking um, and the one who's giving feels robbed or eventually will feel robbed. It's not like that. It feels like the connection that the two of you share from their perspective is one that it's one where both parties feel respected and cared for and prioritized. They see your connection as a, like as safe as as a home almost. Um, and I would say that that what the biggest thing that makes the connection that the two of you share something that's safe is you. They're seeing you as this tree of life. You're, you're somebody who is deeply grounded in their perspective, deeply secure, and provides refuge for others, or for at least this person. Um, there's, there's a lot of security to be found within you, um, a lot of comfort. And they see this as something that is very genuine. Um, you being able to express your emotions or show your emotions in some type of way when it comes to how you care for this person, um, you're doing so in such a way that is very clear for this person to understand. They're not having to read between the lines. Um, they're not having to to play a guessing game of how you're feeling or um, who you truly are, there's trust here. I would say that for a lot of you, and take this with a grain of salt, you know your connection. So if this is a newer connection, perhaps not. But if this is a connection that has quite a bit of history, the, the energy that's coming through really strongly when it comes to how they see you is that they see you as somebody that they would trust with their life. So if that has resonated, Pile 2, let's go ahead and pull tarot, and we're going to look into this person's feelings towards you. How do 
does Pile 2's person feel about Pile 2? We have the Ten of Pinnacles coming out strong. How does Pile 2's person feel about Pile 2? How is Pile 2's person feeling about Pile 2? Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So, Pile 2, right off the bat, I mean, the first card to come out was the Ten of Pentacles, and then trying to pull cards out after that was kind of a delayed process. Like, it feels like this is a really strong message or a really clear indicator of how this person feels about you. They feel, I almost want to say this person feels so stable or secure within this connection that for the first time, or for perhaps the first time in a long time, they are able to look to the future, like envision a future with another person. And they feel that you are that person that they're meant to um, create a legacy with, build a life with. And it feels like they, at times they wonder, like they, they feel so blessed, Pile 2. They feel so incredibly blessed for having been given the opportunity to meet you is what I'm seeing here. And they don't necessarily feel It, it may be that they don't necessarily feel confident within themselves, um, but that's not, that's not what I'm feeling. Like perhaps they feel out of practice when it comes to allowing others in. Like this person is, is letting down walls, wants to let down walls has a desire to move things forward. Um, they're being influenced currently by the joy that they have in their heart rather than perhaps what their fears within their mind or what their fears that their ego is, is telling them. They're leading with their heart currently. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please clarify this Ten of Pentacles spirit. Okay. So we have the Emperor in Strength. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? We have the Six of Wands. Yeah. Why is the Page of Cups here? We have the Queen of Swords. And why is the Knight of Swords here? We have Death. And on the back of the deck we have the Page of Wands. This is interesting. Um, the thing that I'm, I'm feeling called to the most right off the bat is this imagery between the Queen of Swords and death. We have this, this image of death and the death, per, the person that's representing death is kind of transforming into this monarch butterfly. Um, and when I look at the, the Queen of Swords, this heart has a butterfly on the top of it that's, that's resting or... The, the message that's coming through, I got, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I really like these cards. These cards, I love the imagery and the messages that they give. Um, but from what I'm seeing, this person feels as though you have given them an opportunity to shed parts of themselves that no longer are serving them, that have already been dead for a long time, but that they have been holding on to. There's this rebirth and this transformation coming along for them. And they, they feel as though they owe this to you. They owe this inspiration to you. It 
there isn't a whole lot of doubt here. I would say there's, with the emperor and strength here, to me what this is saying is that there is so much confidence in the future. This person feels incredibly sure of where they are headed with you. And I keep hearing like for the first time. So like for the first time ever or for the first time in a long time, or if that's not resonating just at this very moment, this person feels excited. They feel like they have something to look forward to. They're looking forward to the adventures that the two of you are going to be sharing in the future. That's what I'm seeing. It's very sweet. Very sweet pile two. So I've already pulled your advice card for this reading. And for that, we have the grasshopper. The key word for the grasshopper is jump. And the question that's being asked is, where am I ready to leap forward? The message that this, this insect brings is one of, there's encouragement here to trust in the wisdom that you have gained from the mistakes that you have made in your past. And with this trust comes the ability to move forward. Um, there's encouragement here to move forward, to take another step, to perhaps go to the next level. However this is resonating for you, Pile 2, please take it as, as your message. Um, but those are kind of the things that, that I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay, Pile 2. Well, that's what I'm seeing for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for giving me this chance to read for you today. Um, please know that I'm always wishing you guys nothing but the best, Pile 2, and I hope that I'll have the chance to read for you in another video soon. Bye! Hi, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. Today we're going to be looking into how it is that they see you and your connection. So the card that you've chosen um, is the Ray of Light card, and this is representative of how they are seeing you. I have more oracles. Um, we also have the Sandpiper with the keyword being receptive. And then when it comes to how your person is seeing this connection, we have number 11, Harmony. Number 42, the joyful. The affirmation is, I know that the purpose of life is to be happy and live purposefully. We have the queen. We have number 26, the desirable. The affirmation is, I accept my desires as a pure expression of my essential self. And we have number 34, great vigor. Okay, so how does your person see you and this connection? So this is overall a very positive spread, pile three. Um, I, I feel like this group in particular is going to be split between um, connections that are newly forming, that are, that are um, young in, in their creation, and then there are also going to be other connections here that have more of a complex history. But what I'm seeing is that they are looking at you and your connection from the lens of almost like a duality, like they're understanding that there cannot be light without dark. There cannot be happiness without sadness. Um, and and they understand this and there's there's a realistic approach that's kind of showing up here in the sense of them fully recognizing that this connection could potentially cause a lot of destruction or damage or heartache because there are such deep intense feelings here um, however they're not looking at this from the perspective of someone who is pessimistic this is um, somebody who's looking at it from the optimistic point of view, and they're, they're viewing this connection as one that is worth it, as one that 
has the ability to go above and beyond when it comes to connecting with you. They're seeing you as somebody who is also in this positive light. They're seeing you as somebody who chooses to focus on the positive rather than the negative. You're not somebody from their perspective who is constantly asking what if in a pessimistic way or in a fearful way. Um, it's more like what if something positive happens rather than what if something bad happens. Um, I get the feeling that they see you as in touch. Like the two of you are on the same page and you seem to be very much so focused on this connection and all of the positive things that it brings to your life. There's a lot of joy here that they're seeing within this connection and within you. Um, and they're understanding that joy and suffering um, are meant to be shared with others in order to inspire them as well as others to continue pushing forward, to continue going on. Um, but at the same time, they see this connection as one that is such a nurturing and supportive environment that regardless of if there are ups and downs, this connection can stand those tests. This connection can survive those dips and those gains. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I think they almost like view this as, for some of you, they view you and the connection that the two of you share as one in which the two of you could become a power couple of some kind. Um, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but there is there is recognition here that this connection is empowering for the both of you. And the good by far outweighs any bad that could come along. So if that resonates, let's go ahead and pull tarot and see um, what comes through in terms of how this person is feeling. Pile 3's person feeling currently? What are their feelings towards Pile 3? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Fool and we have the King of Wands. This is really beautiful. I love how the Queen of Wands came out first and the last card to come out to complete this row is the King of Wands. And it feels like they're, they feel as though they have met their match. They feel as though they have met their soulmate or that they have met their divine counterpart. The two of you are incredibly compatible from their perspective. And within this knowledge, there's this feeling of, there's no um, doubt here on this person's and this person feels very sure about where they want to dedicate their energy. They're aware of the direction of their energy being the direction that energy flows, the direction that any like energy expands. Um, and they're they're wanting to put that energy toward you. They feel I would say for some of you, if this connection is newer, their feelings have to do with them being ready to take a leap of faith. Them being ready to take this connection to the next level, take the next step that's needed in order for this connection to expand. Yeah, let's keep going. Why is the Queen of Wands here? We have the Ten of Cups. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? We have the Six of Swords. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Too many. I just want one. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, 
We don't get one. <laughs> we get two. We have the star and the wheel of fortune. Why is the fool here? We have the page of swords. And why is the king of wands here? We have the page of wands. And on the back of the deck, we have the queen of cups. Okay. Um... This person is feeling the need to be courageous. Um, I kind of get the feeling with the Fool and the Page of Swords here, like they have this desire to, to speak up about something. They want to share some sort of, they want to divulge some sort of information. And I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with how deeply they're feeling for you. Um, but it feels like the message is coming through, especially because I'm seeing these feet here. Um, it's like they want to dip their toe in the water and see kind of where this goes. Like they don't want to, they don't want to just lay all their cards out on the table without getting a feel for the energy first. Like they want to read the room. Um, but they have this, it almost feels like an adrenaline rush. Like there's this understanding within them that now is the time to be brave and that being brave is what is going to benefit this connection the most. I even get the feeling with this King of Wands here that this person wants to offer you something. If there were other things going on that were influencing this connection, if there was like a third party energy or if this person was stuck on something in the past, like had some baggage that they were bringing in with them into this connection, what's showing through here is that that is done. This person has left that behind willingly and they, they've they wanted to and it has they're recognizing that there are certain things that are no longer serving them, but this connection is not one of them. And if they were to continuously focus on the things that are meant to be left in the past or are meant to be left behind, this connection cannot move forward and they're ready to move forward. They see a happy ending with you, pile three. They... They feel blessed blessed that the two of you have been able to persevere. The two of you have been able to continue to come together or not give up on something. And, and because of this, there is a wish that's coming true. This person feels like they've become very lucky for not having thrown in the towel on this either this connection or on working on themselves for this connection or on remember like reminding themselves continually of the potential that the two of you have um there's just this the message that's coming through is that this person feels so grateful and blessed yeah it's very sweet pile three it's exciting. This energy feels exciting. Like there's butterflies in the stomach. Um, let's go ahead. I've already pulled an advice card for you. So I'm going to go ahead and put these away. And let's go ahead and look at that. So the card that has been pulled for you, pile three, is the prairie smoke. And the question that's being asked by the prairie smoke is, what reminds me that I'm free? And the keyword is liberate. So the, the biggest takeaway for me, pile three, is that your guides are wanting to show you that there is something to unlock, something that's ready to be unlocked. So if it was resonating for you that this person wants to take things to the next level or take the next step, this could be confirmation for you that that is what is happening here. However, at the same time, What's coming through is that it's important to allow yourself to step into this connection if this is something that you want without, without anything binding you or holding you back from opening yourself up or being authentic. 
especially if it resonated for you that there are baggage there's baggage or something from the past that that has been needed to let go there's encouragement here for you to do the same whether or not that's something between the two of you that has happened or if it's something that is a part of your story that has been very defining um Obviously, we can't forget things, and I'm not saying that that's, that's what's meant to happen here. This is more so a gentle reminder that one, when you're ready, when, when you feel as though you're ready, there's encouragement here to let something go in order for you to pursue your happiness, in order for you to let yourself be happy. Obviously, take this as it resonates for you, first and foremost, Pile 3. But that's what I'm seeing for you guys today. So thank you so, so much for giving me this chance to read for you. And I hope that I'll have the opportunity to read for you in another video soon. Bye!